Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. And welcome to day six of the Vomanium Global Quantum and AI program. We have a really exciting program today. First, we will focus on applications with the XPRIZE technical prize director, Katrin Spendier. And after that, we will have a lecture, the first Q-Cobalt lecture on quantum annealing with Q-World's Gunil Alte. So without further ado, it is my pleasure to introduce Katrin Spendier. Katrin Spendier is the technical prize director for XPRIZE quantum applications, responsible for the overall operations and management of the competition. And soon you will hear that the XPRIZE quantum applications is a 5 million prize over three years for quantum algorithms for real world challenges. Before joining XPRIZE, Katrin was the quantum computing technology evangelist at Continuum, where she cultivated par partnerships and provided training on quantum technologies. And before that, she spent over a decade at the University of Colorado as an associate professor of physics and director of research programs. Katrin, it's our real pleasure to have you here for the third year and are very excited for your talk on XPRIZE quantum applications, I'm motivating everyone to look into this and maybe to win. Well, <laughs> thank you, Marley, for this really nice introduction and thank you for, for having me. Um, I am honored to be here today at the Romanian Global Quantum Plus AI program to discuss the potential quantum computing has to solve some of humanity's great global challenges and how our latest prize has been designed to help the world realize that potential. So before um, I share more about the prize, I want to share more background about XPRIZE. Each XPRIZE competition is designed to push the limits of what is possible and demonstrate that anyone, anywhere, can be a part of our movement to build a more equitable, abundant future for all. We are proud to have been the catalyst for innovation and disruption in key areas where collabor collaboration speeds and creative thinking were essential. So XPRIZE is inspired by the Ortiz Prize of 1990 team that offered 25,000 US dollars to the first person to fly nonstop from New York City to Paris. So eight years later, in 1927, a relatively unknown American aviator named Charles Lindbergh won the prize and his custom built aircraft, the spirit of St. Louis. The feet grabbed headlines around the world, sparked public interest and drove investment in the development of aviation technology. More than 74 years later, a group of dreamers founded XPRIZE Using an updated version of Ortiz's prize, rather than air travel, this prize focused on private development of crewed spacecraft that could launch into space twice within two weeks. The Ansari X Prize awarded its 10 million purse in 2004, and the winning design was later licensed by Virgin Galactic. This competition sparked innovation and captured public interest in much the same way as the RT price did and proved that the XPRIZE model could expand the boundaries of exploration and innovation. Our pattern of success uh, has continued since our first prize. We have launched 29 prizes, including the Ansari XPRIZE with several more on the horizon. Our prices are structures to provide a unique ecosystem for investment that accelerates innovation and powers us towards a better future. Over the past 30 years, our competitions have collectively launched over $500 million in aggregate prices. We have hosted teams of more than 10,000 innovators, scientists, entrepreneurs from around the globe to solve the world's challenges. At Total of uh, 1,046 research articles, conference papers, and books were published between 1996 and 2022, focusing on XPRIZE innovations. And our prices have led to over 890 patents filings and over 590 trademarks filings as a result of our competitions. So I am excited to share with you all today our newest prize. Uh, we see quantum computing as an era, area or era with potential to make a real world impact globally. 
So launched in March, Express Quantum Applications is a three-year, five million global competition supported by title sponsor Google Quantum AI and presenting partner Geneva Science and Diplomacy Anticipator, so short called JESTA, that has been designed to generate quantum computing algorithms that can be put into practice to help solve real world challenges. The prize brings together XPRIZE's expertise in designing, launching, and executing large scale competitions. Google Quantum AI's extensive knowledge and leadership in advancing quantum computing, and just as global perspective and ability to convene policymakers and experts to create change. Together, our goal is to nurture the growth of an ethical and forward looking quantum ecosystem. The world faces numerous challenges, including achieving sustainable development outlined in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, by 2030. However, the latest UN SDG report reveals no country is on track to meet all targets. Quantum computing offers promise to address complex problems beyond classical computers, potentially accelerating discoveries across scientific fields relevant to SDGs. Yet current Hardware limitations hinder significant use cases. In preparation of the anticipated advancements in quantum hardware by 2030, urgent action is needed to advance application research and address the lack of tangible real world applications. A global competition can also, also can incentivize experts, right, uh, to focus on that gap. A global competition can also draw attention to socially beneficial use cases, help strengthen and diversify the talent pool, and encourage more openness and diversify the quantum ecosystem. Finally, we hope to foster dialogue around the competition that will combat hype, ensure sustained funding and interest, and establish regulations and standards for responsible quantum computing use. XPRIZE Quantum Applications is supported by a group of diverse and highly esteemed advisory board and judging panel, panel that includes representations from major quantum computing university programs, such as California Institute of Technology, Caltech, tech companies such as Microsoft, Amazon, web services like Quantum and nonprofits, unitary funds, and also national labs like Sandia National Labs. The advisor board will remain in place throughout the competition to advise experts regarding the scientific, economic, and social, and all other elements of the competition. And new advisors and expertise will be added as the competition evolves. The competition's judging process is crucial to ensure an arrest standards, objectivity, and fairness. The judges listed here will provide subject matter and technical expertise and serve as an impartial and independent evaluation team for all aspects of the competition. New judges will be added as the competition evolves. In three years, our competition spans two technical submission phases where competitors turn ideas into actionable algorithms. With a multi-million dollar prize purse, it offers one of the largest incentives for quantum algorithm development. Open to diverse problem types and applications for social benefit, teams can explore unexpected opportunities. Embracing a global perspective, it welcomes participants worldwide, fostering engagement across diverse countries and regions. The competition began in March, 2024 with registration closing July 31st, 2024, so this year. Teams will submit interim reports in the first quarter of 2025, followed by their phase one submission in the third quarter of 2025. After this phase, up to 1 million US dollars will be awarded to a maximum of 20 teams. XPRIZE will announce these semifinalists in the fourth quarter of 2025, who will then advance to phase two. Commencing immediately after, 
The final submissions are due in the fourth quarter of 2026, leading up to the grant award ceremony in the first quarter of 2027. Here are uh, up to three grand prize winners will share 3 million uh, US dollars with two to five runner-ups sharing the remaining prize purse of $1 million. So judges um, um, will be looking for the following. Uh, first of all, we are not just seeking the best academic paper on algorithms over three years. Instead, we are pushing innovators to expand our understanding of real world problems where quantum computers hold an advantage. So judges uh, will evaluate submissions based on key criteria, the potential impact of algorithms on solving critical world problems, the scale of the quantum computer required to execute the algorithm, providing insight into its practical implementation. This is crucial as it will help judge um, evaluate and evaluate an argument for how far away we are uh, from being able to run it on an actual quantum computer, the strengths of the evidence supporting the claims made. Additionally, we are seeking truly groundbreaking ideas that inspire the entire field to delve deeper into real world applications. So we encourage a diverse um, uh, team of participants and um, those needing support in addressing their applications impact uh, will have access to resources to aid them um, on their journey. Oh, wait. So um, competitive submissions are anticipated to make uh, contributions falling into at least one of the following categories. Um, it's important to note that these examples uh, do not uh, indicate preferred areas of focus. Um, introducing a novel quantum algorithm capable of solving a new class of problems with quantum advantage, demonstrating how existing quantum algorithms can be applied to solve previously undiscovered applications, showcasing quantum advantage, significantly diminishing the resources necessary for a quantum computer to achieve quantum advantage in an already established algorithm or application. So some examples now, um, as an example for the novel algorithm category, uh, we can look at this paper by Matt Hastings. In this work, the quantum algorithm achieves a quadra quadric quantum speed up for tensor principal component analysis. While the novelty of this algorithm scores high, a more compelling submission would detail specific real world applications and provide uh, estimates of the quantum resources needed to achieve a practical quantum advantage. For new application submissions, examples could include these two papers on using quantum linear system solvers or Hamiltonian simulations to achieve super quadratic speed up in simulating classical wave equations or coupled harmonic systems. If these were submissions, uh, they would be strengthened by including some estimates of the resources required for quantum advantage in real world applications. For uh, the enhanced performance criteria, if uh, the work, we can look at the work by Lee et al on improved chemistry algorithms with applications to simulating the Fimoco nitrogen fixation catalyst. Um, it would be, if this is a submission, it would be strengthened by demonstrating a larger magnitude of resource reduction and a greater degree of novelty. Uh, so what impact do we want this competition to have? So we hope it will help set us on a path to use this technology as a force for good in a world that truly needs it. By keeping the competition open, to diverse problems, teams can uncover unexpected opportunities and feed the bank of social, socially beneficial use cases. For instance, um, they might explore quantum computing's applications in sustainable food production to quantum simulation of how bacteria naturally uh, fix nitrogen as a nutrient for plants, that would be SDG2, uh, quantum cloud uh, 
provide a more accurate prediction of how drug candidates interact with proteins in the whole human body, um, helping improve and shorten the drug discovery process, that would be SDG3. And finally, quantum computing could accelerate the discovery of materials that are efficient at scrubbing carbon from the atmospheres. Uh, so helping us confront climate change, that would be SDG 13. With a fast array of problems to tackle, we eagerly anticipate the innovation, so innovative solution teams will de devise during the competition. So why join? So join us to shape the future of quantum computing. Drive impact, your work will lead to groundbreaking solutions for global cha challenges. Advance the field. This competition is more than just winning, not more just than just about winning. It's an opportunity to push the limits of quantum technologies. Recognition and outreach. Connect and collaborate um, with the diverse community of innovators, leaders, and professionals. Form partnerships that not only accelerate your ideas, but also expand our professional connections. Share ideas and collaborate to propel the field of quantum technologies forward. Additionally, gain recognition for your contributions and work. So we are thrilled to say that over 400 teams from 62 countries have already started registration for the competition, and we hope to see that number grow. Uh, registration is open through July 2024, and we encourage um, interest that in applying to register a team. Uh, we especially encourage cross-disciplinary and the diverse teams to register. Um, to do so, uh, please visit xprice.org um, dash prices qc dash qc slash apps. So xprice.org slash prices slash qc dash apps to register and shape the future of quantum computing and applications. Um, you can also write an email to um, XPRIZE. So here's the email on the, the slide. So uh, yes, so please reach out. And now um, if you have any questions, I am happy to take them. Fantastic. This is really exciting, Katrin. And I think many people are already thinking towards applications, how to team up, how to register for the competition. Um, but let me dive into a couple of questions that are being asked on Discord, and I will share them with you. Um, first of all, you mentioned quantum hardware will be more mature by 2030. What is your expectation? How mature will it be by then to and to do what? Um, yes, so this is, you know, everyone, uh, I think no one really has the answer uh, on that. I think we have a lot of amazing hardware uh, companies out there that work really, really hard um, on uh, moving forward. And all I can tell you is, you know, to share with you a roadmap um, and, um, and based on how the, you know, ecosystem has done in the past, you can be confident that they're going to keep going up in the road, roadmap, at least given technology is going to be there, you know, like what we need to build these systems is going to there be there. So, so it will get better over time. Um, and then obviously we need to work on algorithms, right? So we have this amazing hardware, uh, but we still need to work, have algorithms that are useful on the hardware. So this is why this competition is, is running now is because we hope that we can actually come up with algorithms that are even better than we have right now, right? So we could decrease that gap of us uh, waiting to make a meaningful impact. Yeah, by using quantum fantastic. Computers. And approaching these applications from both sides. Yes, sure. we need better hardware, more qubits, high quality, but also more efficient algorithms and really new efficient algorithms to, right. to do it effectively. Um, do you see interesting opportunities at the interface of quantum and AI for these applications? Oh, of course, yes. I think um, there's different ways of the way you can think about it. You can think about, uh, you know, machine learning AI for quantum computing, where, for example, if you think about um, one of these sub categories, submission categories, where you can um, come up with, an, um, you know, reducing the resources needed to run a certain quantum algorithm, right? Uh, maybe AI machine learning can aid uh, in coming up with something new, like putting things together, um, this different tool together and make them most efficiently working together. 
I'm just having an idea here, but I, I can definitely see um, areas where AI um, can uh, aid, um, you know, algorithm development and also implementation of them on hardware. Fantastic. And I see some more comments on the roadmaps for hardware. I can share that multiple companies now have a roadmap where they aim to achieve 100 logical qubits in five years. So that is really exciting before the end of the decade. And there has been so much progress the past years that this seems a realistic estimation now. Very exciting for what is to come. Also, a multiple of the papers Katrin mentioned in, uh, in the talk, uh, we will have presentations on those later in the program, and also some of the applications like um, modeling materials effectively for carbon capture will also be some of the talks in uh, the upcoming weeks. So stay tuned for that and speakers will be uh, announced shortly on those. There are more questions on uh, participating in the competition. Uh, first of all, uh, there is a question about what kind of teams usually sign up. Are these from academia, from industry, mixed? Can they be individuals? Yes, so we have, so there's no minimum number of team members. No, there's one minimum number of team members, it's one. So it could be individually, sign, individual signing up, and then it could be as many on the team as you wish to add. Um, the highest percentage right now is from academia. Um, uh, probably around like 20, like 30 or so um, academic groups. Um, a lot of students, you know, that sign up and, and, and want to uh, build an, a team. We have individual contributors. Um, if you go online um, to the, you know, to the price, uh, we actually have a map where you can see um, where applications come from. Um, if you sign up and register, you can actually have access to, um, you know, other team um, teams that are out there. For example, you see someone is in your area, you could contact a team. Uh, so we really highly like encourage a collaboration, sharing resources. And there's also an option of merging teams during a competition. So you can grow your team, you can grow your expertise as you go through this process and you uh, figure out what kind of like, you know, um, um, algorithm you would like to work on. So in any case, um, there's a lot of space of like collaboration and we will help you. We're gonna try to facilitate that and give you uh, ways of connecting. That is great to hear. Then Shagayek asks, who will hold the IP of the idea? Uh, you, the competitors, competitors, you will hold the IP. Perfect. And then uh, Nidia from the US asks, uh, can team members change after the sign up? Sure, uh, team members can change after the sign up. The person who is your contact can change. So this is all um, uh, possible to do. So. Hussein Shiri asks, and this is a question for Romanium, will there be an option on, uh, uh, will there be a Discord channel to ask for joining a team? Let us discuss that within the team to arrange that. And also soon we will start the team formation for the projects within this Romanium program that are also focused on applications. And this overlap is perfect. There will be applications quantum, quantum and AI for climate, for example, and quantum for applications where you can find quantum advantage as fast as possible. So there is really a great um, great overlap with what the XPRIZE aims to, to achieve. Um, questions about resources. Both Nidia from the US and Juliana from Italy asked, um, can you, you mentioned resources will be available to teams. Can you expand on that? And are there dedicated quantum resources that are going to be given to registers third teams that develop technical proposals? Mm -hmm. Great, so great question. So first of all, um, I wanna emphasize, this is like a, a technical paper, right? There's no need to run it uh, on actual hardware. However, you're gonna have to be able to estimate the resources required for the algorithm you're working on, right? To show how early, so how near time can it be applied? Uh, so that being said, um, there's a lot of open source, you know, um, things out there. You can maybe estimators, you have seen already resource estimators, and we will make an effort to combine these resources and share them with the teams to know um, what resources are out there. So we are working um, uh, with our, like, you know, um, you know, experts in the field on it. Um, and then obviously um, for like um, questions, we're going to have experts that, you know, can help you, um, you know, um, tweak things off, uh, tweak things in case you need an expert. Uh, in a certain field, and you don't have that expert. We'll try to to help. Yeah. 
Fantastic. That also um, that also answers Nahid's question from Portugal. Do applica applications uh, need us to have hardware, or is it only algorithms? You said the resource estimation suffices. Uh, then a question from Mustafa Zidane from Egypt. Is it required for the registration to already identify the problem we will be working on? And if yes, is it possible to adapt it later? Uh, you don't have to have a, a thought out idea. If you think you're going to have a great one, like, you know, register, uh, you can say you're still thinking about it in the registration form uh, and you can always change. Uh, so what counts is, you know, the interim report, which is doing a, a less like a little bit of a year and then obviously the, the final submission. But in any case, um, um, you can change uh, throughout. You can, you know, change your ideas. Yeah. This is amazing. Then a forward thinking question from Shagayak. The XPRIZE quantum applications is for three years. Will there be more such prizes after this one? Yeah, we'll hope uh, we have more prizes, like building on, like, you know, uh, eventually like have more um, on the quantum technology side. Um, you know, we are initiating ideas. We're thinking about this right now. Um, so we hope. So if this is great, uh, a great prize, you know, we, we have great, um, you know, uh, success with it. Um, I can't see why XPRIZE would not find other sponsors to, you know, do the next step of maybe applying on hardware. Who knows, right? It's very exciting. Very exciting indeed. People ask about the knowledge required for the competition. Uh, I can comment on this from the Romanian side that the current program you're enrolled in is perfectly suited for this. Uh, it will be a steep learning curve, but if you are, if you put all effort into, uh, you started with QBronze last week, now QNickel, and then we will have a whole program on advanced quantum algorithms, uh, partnering with Classic, partnering with multiple guest speakers. And some of the guest speakers are those that were on the archive papers that Katrin just showed. So exactly relevant. And um, there are many of you uh, also already working in either classical simulations or quantum simulations. And um, and we have this diversity, this variety of backgrounds. So by teaming up and going through this steep learning curve this summer to top up your existing skills, you can make a very strong team. Yes, I believe so too. I'm totally with you, Marlon. Great. I will screen through the last question before we are wrapping up. All right, everyone is already brainstorming and, yeah, and, uh, and discussing what, what would be really needed. Um, there are some questions about resource estimation. It's good you ask about that. Let us uh, make sure um, that we arrange a talk also on that so you can uh, get more inside knowledge on, on how to do that. Okay, and everyone is really excited. Wonderful. With that... Are there uh, some last words you would like to share with this audience, Katrin? Thanks again for having me. Um, good luck um, in your future endeavors and you know through this program. And I really hope um, to see some of you uh, register for the competition. And please reach out to me. Um, you know, there is the email. Please out, reach out with any questions. I'm happy to help you in your journey. So thanks again for having me. Um, I'm really excited. And then. Good luck with everything. Yes. A big applause to Katrin. It was great hearing your talk here and opening these great opportunities of which the deadline is end of July. So everyone, six weeks of time to get this in place. We're really excited and very happy you helped drive this field, quantum computing for applications further and hope that everyone here, 3,900 registrations now, that could make 400 teams, right? Yeah, I don't know if we have that many judges, but we'll try our best. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or multiple very strong teams. Great. I see many messages here uh, thanking you, Katrin, from Oom in Morocco, from British in the US, from Tushar in the US, from all countries all over the world, from Brazil. Um, so Germany, I see more popping up here. Thank you very much for this talk today. Very exciting. And we will stay in touch with you. Yeah, thank you. Please reach out. Take care. Thank you.